Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting. As you guys know, we're in September and if you guys don't celebrate fall in September, if you guys don't celebrate fall, like, cause it's not, it's not a holiday, but I celebrate the season. If you get, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I wish you did. But anyways, it is fall and because it is fall, we are gonna be filming and doing all the fall things today. This has literally been my most anticipated video ever. This is why I became a YouTuber. But today we're just gonna be doing like a full fall reset, like the whole nine yards. I literally took like a random, a random paper from my assignments. If that doesn't tell you how school is going, I don't know what will. Fall is the only thing holding me together right now. But I, I listed out everything that I wanna get done in this video. This video is gonna be composed of six parts and it's all gonna be like a fall slash bookish reset. I'm gonna do a crochet reset in a different video, but it's not gonna be like this. Like this is like the full fall vibes. So today what I wanna get done, or not today, just in this video, I want to fill out my book journal for August and like let you guys know like what I read and all that fun stuff. Purchase my TBR for fall, which is literally so exciting. I want to do that so bad. I'm really excited to get to that. Plan my content for the month of September. Just basically plan all my fall content and just all the content that I need to post in September. Make my fall Spotify playlist. Buy fall decor for my dorm. This one is also exciting. I want to get like a bunch of pumpkin plush. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. And then lastly, just decorate my electronics fall themed. Am I going too far? I like, I want to do like my phone. I want to make it like fall theme. I want to make my laptop fall theme. I want to make my iPad fall theme. I want everything fall theme. So that's basically how this video is going to run. What we're going to start with is my reading journal. So let's get out the reading journal. And this is going to take me a lot of hours because I love getting creative with my reading journal. And I really want to get creative with my... Okay, let me, let's just get the reading journal and let's get started. Okay, so here is my reading journal. I actually have a video of me making this journal if you guys want to watch it. Let's go through it and fill out everything for August. guys so i finished my reading journal literally last night at like 12 a.m nobody talks about how long it takes to fill out a reading journal but i'm going to show you guys my spreads for september and then some of the things i filled out for august so i'm not going to spend too much time showing you guys the beginning portion of my reading journal you guys can watch like my reading journal video if you guys want to see that but i only read three books in the month of august which is so disappointing but this month's gonna be a really good month because we're entering our fall months so i filled in the three books that i read for august and those three books came from my TBR card, so I was able to fill them out. The three books were Just for the Summer, Happy Place, and Butcher and Blackbird. And then I didn't read anything new for my series tracker, so I left that alone. My monthly faves, I picked Happy Place, but looking back, it might be Just for the Summer. I think Happy Place and Just for the Summer were kind of equal for me, because they both had a lot of emotional depth, and they were just both really, really, really good summer romances. Although I would say Happy Place was a lot more summery than Just for the Summer. For my book bingo, I filled in pink cover for happy place summer book for just for the summer and hated it for butcher blackbird i didn't necessarily hate it but i did not like it so i just went ahead and filled out the hated it tab i filled out one of my reading goals which was to make bookish content and i have been doing that so i filled that out and then i filled out my abc reading challenge and then for my 24 books in 2024 i read happy place and just for the summer i didn't put anything in my kindle library so i left it alone my book goal tracker i'm currently on book 44 of 50 for the year and then i didn't film any content ideas this month or last month so i left it alone here's my books by the month only three for august which is so sad this is just like a tracker of just a bunch of random things that i went ahead and filled out and then here's my genre tracker and then this was my august tbr from my tbr i actually read two books no three books actually which is pretty good and then i went ahead and filled out my book purchases from last month and i didn't print them out just because i was feeling lazy so i just drew them i don't know and then i didn't dnf any books in august so i didn't get to fill out my dnf graveyard and then i went ahead and filled out my monthly log and then i want to do after every month a spread of my favorite book and just make it really cute although i was feeling really lazy when i did my happy place spread because it's honestly not that cute and then here we start getting into september so i went ahead and did my fall tbr and then i drew like little leaves around it to kind of give a fall vibe and this is just my fall tbr we're going to be referring to this whenever we make our fall tbr purchases and then here's my september i went for a gilmore girls theme so we have like the stars hollow autumn festival and then here's luke's cafe it's so cute and then this is my tbr for the month i didn't put too many books just because 
I have not been reading as much as I want to read and I wanted it to be reasonable so I put five books on there and then I put a September analytics page so here is where I'll put my genres and I'll make it like a pie chart here I'll put the number of books that I read for the month here I'll print out the longest book I read and tape it here and then here the shortest book I read and tape it there and then lastly I just have my book purchases so I'm gonna print out all the books I purchased for the month of September and just put them on this page and that's all I have for now for my book journal so now that our book journal is all updated we're gonna get into purchasing my fall TBR which I'm so excited for I'm gonna do like a little mix of Amazon and Target and just see where I can find the best prices I usually buy all my books from Amazon to be honest because they just have really good prices yeah so i'm gonna go on amazon and then maybe target maybe target because target price matches to online i don't know i hear people saying that you can price match amazon prices to target but i haven't tried that yet i already bought one book for my fall tbr which was the house across the lake by riley sager i'm so excited to get into this book i should have put this on my tbr for september but i didn't for some reason but my tbr is not really like a strict kind of thing i have to follow i just kind of i'm all over the place but yeah i did buy the house across the lake which i'm so excited to get into i'm just hoping it's not like the woman what is it the the woman in the window because if it's the same exact plot twist and plot i'm not gonna really enjoy it because i already watched that movie like years ago and i feel like everything that follows like the house across the thing or the lake across the uh, or the window in the cross and then the, uh, the, it's all the same plot the same story and it just gets tiring so i'm hoping this is a little bit different okay so the first one we're gonna look up i, I made sure to do a mix of books i already have and the books that i can purchase so from what i don't have i don't have the kiss curse or the x hex so i'm gonna get those now 16.99 the pumpkin spice cafe i really want to read that it's so cute it's probably so expensive though because everybody's trying to buy it oh 14 that's actually not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna get that. And then we have, I have a guitar. Seven Year Slip, I really wanna get into. One Dark Window. Okay guys, so I actually ended up going way off script. I didn't get anything from my phone to you. But you know, I did get, I got Seven Year Slip. And I got the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, but I also got Magnolia Parks. I don't know if I'm gonna like Magnolia Parks because I hated, I don't remember what it's even called. I hated it so much. So the one with the heart on the cover, I was expecting to love it. I hated it. I did not like it. I hated it so much. So I'm thinking like I'm probably not gonna like Magnolia Parks, but I'm, I think that I'm, since I've grown older and I've, I don't know, I just feel like I've learned a lot with time. And back when I read that, I think I was like a freshman or a sophomore in high school. So it was like very unreal to me. But now that I feel like, I feel like I'm a little bit older and I'll be able to appreciate the book a little bit more. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try Magnolia Parks. Although I do have to get this ugly cover with the high heels because the other one is limited. Like they don't sell that anymore. Okay, our books have been purchased. Now we're gonna move on to our next thing which is planning out my content for the month of september all of my fall content all of my september content all that we're gonna go on notion and i'm gonna make a notion template for my content and we're just gonna plan and i'm gonna think of some really cool fall ideas that i can incorporate into this month and i'm so excited i'm not gonna go too hard on fall this month maybe next month like i'll do like i'll sprinkle every every two three videos will be you know a fall video okay we're gonna do this on my bed because i feel like it's gonna take a little bit longer and i want to be nice and cozy as i do this you guys are literally balancing on a pillow that's not on my bed it's like halfway off my bed and you guys are on the part that's halfway off my bed maybe let's not do that Okay guys, so I finished my Notion template and I'm gonna kind of like run you guys through it, but I don't want to spoil the videos. So I'm just gonna give you like a vague overlook. So this is kind of what it looks like. I have it split into the folders of the months and I started in September. So it's kind of, it just goes from September to December. And then I decorated my banner in like a fall theme. And then next month I'll do a Halloween. And then the month after that, a Thanksgiving. And then the month after that, I'll do a Christmas. And same with the months I decorated 
the folders based on the holiday of that month. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's a holiday of every single month besides September. And then if you click on each folder, I'll have a month and then I'll have just video ideas and then their due dates and their genre. So like if it's a book video, a lifestyle video, a crochet video, and then if I filmed it, edited it, all that stuff. And then they're all just in a calendar. So that's kind of my layout for the month. Now I know exactly what I'll be filming and what I'll be doing for the month of September which makes it so easy and I actually did put a lot of fall ideas on there but honestly I'm excited. So now that I'm done electronically writing out my monthly schedule I'm gonna write it on my whiteboard and on my planner as well and then that'll be a good reset for the rest of the month because now I can just relax I know what's coming I know what to film I don't have to think about things ahead of time because it's already been planned and thought about so I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything out on my beautiful whiteboard I got it from Target and on my planner as well. Okay, so my whiteboard is all filled out. Now I'm gonna move on to my physical paper planner. Now we're gonna do some more stuff on the computer, but this time it's a little bit more fun. We're gonna be making my fall playlist for 2020. I have a 2023, 2022, 2021, all the way back to like probably 2017. But now we're gonna make our 2024 fall playlist. So I'm really gonna take my time with this, but I'm not gonna do it all in one go. I'm gonna kind of, you know, add songs as the month progresses, but I wanna at least add like 10 to get it started. But I wanna avoid making a sad playlist because I feel like fall is already kind of, you know, you're getting into the colder months, which means depression season is like you know right around the corner and i really want to avoid that so i'm gonna add i'm gonna do my best to make this fall playlist without adding songs that will make me feel sad so it's gonna be a little bit tricky it's gonna be a little tricky i want i want songs that excite me for fall but they're also calm but they're not mellow you know what i mean so i'm gonna try my best to kind of create that and again i just want to add at least 10 songs and then i'll just add more as the months pass or the days pass and i just get more music in there but for now let's just add 10 let's just add a simple 10 and i'll link it down below if you guys want to listen to it and if you have any suggestions for songs that i should add please let me know especially songs that aren't sad help me out here i don't want any sad songs i don't want sparks by coldplay on there like i don't want anything sad i just want some fall like it's fall like do you believe in magic kind of fall you know what i mean like mm, stars hollow kind of fall okay let's head over to spotify i want to add a cute little fall photo let me see what i can find on pinterest okay so i have the playlist made now let's add some songs first obviously another obvious one vintage tea i want to go like a little old school No. No. <gasps> Duh. I don't know. It makes me sad sometimes, but other no, I'm not gonna I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it. Don't you notice how you so I'm sick of this. Missing out long enough, you can love me. No. <gasps> yes. It's Arctic monkeys, everything by Arctic monkeys. If it's a seven hour flight, so oh, 
Okay, I'm going a little crazy now. I've added 37 songs. Okay, that, you see, I get, I, I love music. Music is definitely one of my favorite things ever created in the world. It is just, oh my gosh, I love music so much. I grew up around music and I just love it so much. I could talk about it forever, but I won't. So now we're done with all of the kind of, bo not boring, but like basic stuff. You know, let me get my paper. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, this next one I'm so excited for. We are gonna go and we're gonna go buy some fall decor. We're gonna go to Target, Home Goods, Walmart, Five Below, Dollar Tree, anywhere, anywhere where I can find some cute fall decor. Although I don't wanna go too crazy on the fall decor because I live in a dorm and it's a very temporary situation, so I don't wanna buy a bunch of stuff. But I, I do wanna buy like a couple pillows, maybe a blanket and like i don't know some random things that i can find around the stores that i could just put just little pieces of fall around my home and just make it feel more homey so yeah let's head over to the shopping stores and see all the fun stuff that we can find i think i might not get a blanket because just because i plan on making a video is all that's all i'm gonna say i plan on making a video that has something to do with that so i might not buy a blanket but we'll see I'm so excited. Let's head over and see what it is that we can find to decorate for this season. Okay, guys, we're Okay, guys, we're about to head out to the stores. First stop is going to be Target. Just really I feel like that's the most obvious place to go first. And then we'll see if there's like a home goods or something around here. I'm not sure. There's like nothing in this little town, but we'll see. But yeah, Target is definitely the first stop. So let's head over. I really wish I had a tripod in my car so then I could set you guys up while we're driving. But I don't. I'm going to buy one right now because I keep saying that and then I do nothing about it. So I'm going to buy one right now and I will see you guys at Target. Okay, I'm at Target and already the dollar station has a bunch of cute stuff. I feel like this would be cute for my desk. I don't know if I want the orange one or the white one. I think we get the white one just to kind of fit my vibe a little bit more. They also have these, which is like a bunch of baby pumpkins I could just throw around my dorm room. But I don't know. Every time I get something like this, I never use them. They don't have as much fall decor as I would have hoped they would have. I don't know where any of the fall stuff is here. So Target's kind of a bust. I might go to Home Goods because it's right next door. And then if that fails, I guess I'll go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, I came to the book aisle because when all else fails, just come to the Target book aisle. And I found this book. It's A Werewolf's Guide to Seducing a Vampire. And I kind of want to try it out. I want to try out a book I haven't like seen on social media. And I have not seen anybody talk about this book. So I think I'm going to get it and give it a try. It does give me fall vibes because it's like werewolves and vampires. How much more fall can it get? And it just looks so cute. The cover is beautiful. I think it's so cute. I'm going to keep looking for some more kind of fall books and see what i can find i i do want to sway away from just things that i see all over social media i want to find my own book so i can claim it so i'm going to try this book out if you guys have read it let me know what you think and yeah i'm going to keep looking for some more i'm literally fighting the urge right now to get a fall blanket because i would have to get a whole new bed setting but i really want to get like a fall blanket i can get a green one because my bed's kind of green i don't know i really want i really want, i'm gonna think i'm gonna buy a blanket i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy a blanket Look at all of these cute options. And they have a Charlie Brown one. I like this one the most. This is adorable. Okay, guys, Marshalls was another bust. So we're going to go to Hobby Lobby because I know Hobby Lobby will have everything I need. She always does. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, there's a car. Let me get off the road. I love Hobby Lobby. They're just as delusional as me. I bet you if I walk three more steps, I'll find Christmas decor. I say two more steps and we'd be in Christmas. I love Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, how did we end up here? <laughs> Bag secured. Hobby Lobby just does it for me every single time. I got some pretty cute stuff, but I kept it simple. But it's still gonna be like prevalent inside of my dorm, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> 